time for the Bear News with George Partos. And good evening. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of. Uh, hold on. Welcome to tonight's broadcast of the Bear News, and I'm your host George Portos. Um, I'm going to say this up front: we're going to make fun of Landon Steele tonight. If you guys aren't uh, prepared for this, um, log off. Um, for those that are not familiar with it, um, in the last. Uh, few weeks Landon has been outed and part of the situation has been is he's taken money from fellow vets now I have a limit of what I will tolerate number one is don't fucking steal money from people if you can't understand that if you cannot understand that it's wrong to steal money from people then fuck you um, number two if you use your veteran status to steal money from other people you're a piece of shit now, I'm going to call some people out, and if you're not happy with it, well, I don't give a fuck. Um, the first person that you guys are familiar with was a guy by the name of Kyle Neurig. Now, Kyle took money from a Gold Star mother. Now, in doing so, <clears throat> a Gold Star mom that had a, had a veteran son killed in Iraq, and Kyle Neurig took money from him. If you don't see a problem in that, well, a lot of people do. And here's my issue with it. Here, here, here's my issue with this as well. There's a lot of people out there that I, I, I'm going to have a couple guests on, and you know, you, you'll understand why I'm doing this. Um, we want to feel patriotic. All of us do. Um, we want to feel patriotic about helping fellow vets. We want to feel patriotic about helping first responders. We want to feel patriotic about helping those people that serve our country. Because, it, let, let me say this, the, the veteran community is a close-knit group. And um, as a result of it, as a result of being a close-knit group, we want to help each other. Um, and the people that I've served with and, and the people that are my fellow Marines and, and the people that, um, if they need help, I will go out of their way to help them. Why? Because they are they're the, my brothers in arms. They're the people that I've helped. Now, in doing so, I will never, ever, ever ask anybody for a fucking dime. Period. Not anybody. There's not one person that you, that can, that can, you guys can call up on Facebook, tag them in a post or whatever, says, hey... Has George Pardos ever asked you for money? No. The reason why I don't want to be that guy. And there are people out there that are okay with that. This isn't this is why to you know and this is what irritates me about Landon the most is the fact that a lot of us reach helped him. A lot of people reached out and helped him. A lot of people gave him money. And that is what is infuriating about this. Because I'm going to say this, and I hope it comes out the right way. He is a con man that wore the uniform of the United States. That's, or, or he's a sociopath. One of the two. Because it sure as hell isn't a guy that I would think that would act honorably in this situation. Because if you're going to sit there and tell me that you're okay with stealing money from single moms that have kids, and those women are, are, alone have their own issues, you're going to tell me that you're going to take money from a, a disabled vet who gave you his last $60, and he's getting by on Social Security and SDI, and he gave that to you because you needed a bus fare to get somewhere? That's my issue. So I have Tony Winkler, um, who's been a, a regular contributor on, on the show, 
Um, I want you to welcome to Veteran Radio Syndicate, the Bear News. How are you doing tonight? Real good, man. How are you doing? I'm. A, you know what? I'm infuriated and I'm pissed off. And I usually, um, I try to do the right thing. And you've known me long enough that, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, I don't take money from people. That, that, that's my, that's my, my draw. And mm-hmm. here, here's one of the things about it is that he has become such a sociopath that it, it, it is it, he's lost all the ability to tell right from wrong and and that is one of my concerns now me and you were having a discussion about this earlier about how there's some people that are just criminals that wore the uniform of the united states and uh, and some of us we know it, it has gone past the the stolen valor because we understand look all of us can t- can talk about the um, the um, um, the idea of what it looks like when it, when you you know when you embellish, but when it goes past to the point where it becomes criminal, there's an issue with that. So I wanted you to kind of uh, um, you know go and talk about uh, what uh, we you know we had discussed earlier. And, you know, basically about how some people are just a, a con man that wore the uniform of the United States. Yeah, there, there is a, uh, you, had, you had sort of alluded to it earlier. I just want to amplify it a little bit. There, there, are, there are mostly men who, um, you know, maybe they came up from a rough upbringing, grew up in the, on the wrong side of the tracks, grew up in the hood, grew up in the holler, whatever, um, in, in, a, in a, uh, an upbringing that either was explicitly criminal or sc- skirted criminality. They decide to join the military, and for you know two or four or six years of their life, they um, they actually do something positive, and then they get out and they go back to where they came from, and they promptly descend back into what they came from, and, and they they become criminals or or they resume being criminals, and um, you know it's petty theft, it's assault, it's whatever. Um, I was a deputy sheriff in a very large jail in the Midwest, and I. I'm a fellow veteran, and I would, you know, talk to them. And it's just like they just – it literally is. It's like being in the military was the one bright spot in their life before they just went back to being um, someone who just succumbed to their surroundings. And, and they – and it was just – I would always tell them, like, you have options. You served your country. You have options. You can be better than this. And, you know, whether they took that advice or not, I don't know, you know. Um, but they're all also – um, people who are sociopaths and they are grifters and they are con men and they have certain tells they have uh, certain patterns some of them happen to join the military and when they do that as a grifter as a con man as a sociopath they um, they recognize hey this is something I, I can exploit and so when it comes to someone who is a con artist or a sociopath there are certain things that they do and you will recognize them by it first off they have, they, they have a pond that they fish, maybe two, but usually one pond that they fish. Right. Okay, and they will, they will stick to that pond, okay? And it can be, oh, they go after vulnerable older women, or they go after um, wealthy people who, um, want, who let greed get in, in, you know, ahead of their better judgment. Or it can be... Um, people, either fellow, you know, fellow, quote unquote, veterans, or people who have a high regard for veterans, and um, and exploit them. Okay, so that is something they will do. So they they will have a pond that they fish. Okay, and his and pond, then, and and let me tell you, you know, for the people that are listening, his pond was fellow vets and people yeah. in the veteran community and single moms, and yeah. that was. Um, and here here's the other thing: we could forgive all this. We could even forgive all of this, but you put your fucking hands on a woman, and and it's not just one no, woman. I mean, I can't even forgive that because again, it's it, it's a pattern. It, it's a pattern, yeah, and it, and here's it, the thing: for all the you people, so I'm going to say that there's some people out there that are defending him. I'm going to say one thing: you're going to tell me that that numerous women came online, got together. All of a sudden, all of them came up with the same damn story um, together. They colluded. To come up with the same pattern, the same event, and everything to collude together to, to call you out. Really? Come on, Boo. Yeah. Well, again, just look for these patterns. If these patterns look, and here's the, here's the thing: no one is 
no one is pure evil, okay? Very few, I mean, you know, very, very few people are pure evil. So you can have someone who, in their heart, they might even believe that they, they want to do the right thing, but when push comes to shove, they go for themselves, okay? And they can be complicated. That, that's, that's, a, that's a fun word that we use lately. They can be complicated or whatever. But let's, let's talk about this. So if they are exhibiting certain patterns of behavior, then you have to say at some point, it's like an addict. It's like, I understand you're a good person, but you just tried to sell your kid for drugs. So um, I, I understand that you're a good person, but, you know, I, I, we have to sort of, sort of, you know, condemn you at the moment or, or whatever, however you want to put it. Um, with, a, with someone who exploits other people, Maybe they there's some part of them that wants to do good, but when push comes to shove, they go out, they go for number one, and so look for patterns. Look for these patterns. If they um, ingratiate themselves with someone very quickly, okay. If it very quickly goes from hey, they're quickly calling you by your name, and it's all about we and us, and you know it's like I barely know you, but all of a sudden I'm saying um, hey, we know what it's about, or hey, we've been there and nobody else knows, you know, and that sort of thing. And um, they, that's one tell. Another tell is that they will present themselves as either a subject matter expert on something to in order to sort of overpower you with their um, expertise, or they will present themselves as someone who is flawed, just like you. Man, I'm just trying to get by, and I'm just trying to do the right thing, man, you understand? But then that, that is quickly followed by an appeal for something. Yeah, and, 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 and help and, assistance. Okay, if you're starting to see this pattern with someone, that should be a red fucking flag. And, and if you keep going, eh, I don't know, I'm not sure. That is also because we as human beings, we're mammals, we are social beings, and one thing we hate is embarrassment. One thing we hate to, to feel is like somehow we're outside the troop, outside the pack, outside the herd. And so if someone is doing something and you're like there's some red flags going off in your head but at the last minute they they seem to be able to soothe those things that should be a red flag in your fucking head okay because what they are doing is they are manipulating that that part of you they they they, they will ask you something they will do and i'll back up here a minute first off what they will do is they will ingratiate themselves with you and then they will start giving you things whether it's material things or emotional things, things that don't cost them that much, but they will start giving you things unexpectedly, for right. which you will feel gratitude for. And they will point those, point the fact out that, hey, man, I understand, but hey, it's not a big deal. I understand I'm doing this for not a big deal, okay? And it's kind of like being in a casino where you start winning at first. Even if it's just emotions, you feel like you're ahead of the game. You feel like you're ahead of the house. You've got the house, you know? And then... They will start asking you for things, little things, just little things, okay? But at some point, they will get, they will give what they call the big ask. They will ask you for something that's outside your comfort zone, okay? And, and it's, and, and you know what? Who, you know who else does this? Drug dealers or undercover yeah. cops that are acting as yeah. drug dealers. Hey, let me yeah. buy, hey, let me hold an ounce, let me hold a zip. Hey, you know what? Let me hold this package a little bit. And it's an ounce here, yeah. an ounce there, a quarter there. And then all of a sudden, they may, I need two keys. I ne you know, I need you to, to, to get this on me. I, I need this to, to, you know, I got this deal. I got that. It happens all the time. Hey, man, can you, can you hook me up here? I just, I'm not going to ask you for anything else ever again. Yeah. I'm, I'm in a tight spot. Can you do this for me? And if you balk, they will call you out on it. They will either explicitly yep. call you like, what the fuck, man? I thought we were buds, you know. Or they'll be like, "No, I get it, man. I understand. Uh, I, I guess I'll figure out something. I don't know, man. I, I'm really in a bad spot here, you know." And they will either they will either they will either brute force you into getting what they want, or they will guilt trip you into it. And then yeah. once they do that, they got you, okay. And then at some point, you might say, "Whoa, this is way too much. I'm in over my head." And if you call them out on it, a they will gaslight you. They will start yeah. saying, "What are you talking about?" I don't, what are you talking about? I don't understand. I, no, it's me? I'm the problem? I'm yeah. The problem? I yeah, I, I'm, the, I, I'm the cop? Yeah. You think I'm a cop? You think I'm the... Yeah. yeah. And, and that's yeah. exactly and what then, happened. And if you continue on with it, if they start assassinating, character assassinating you with your peers or in social media, okay, there, there, there are these patterns. And if someone matches these patterns, 
even if they're cool to you, I'm sorry, but they're probably just you're, they're probably trolling you at the moment. Yeah, you're, you're just in the. And here's the here's here's the, here's the tell, here is the, the the ironclad telltale sign of someone who is a sociopathic manipulator. If in the face of overwhelming condemnation or evidence, they deny everything and they double down on it and they keep doing whatever it is they're doing, they keep fishing you. You know, th- then that's a sign right there. They're like, they, they will they will deny everything and they will continue doing what they're doing. And if you if if you are someone that they are fishing, then that's you know they're going to, they're going to give you any story they have to. They're going to be charming. They're going to be disarming. And they are if if you don't see it, it's because they're playing you right now. Yep. And once they get get whatever they want from you, then they move on to someone else. And they are counting on the fact that you will be too embarrassed. Again, embarrassed. We are, we are a we are a social species. We are a herd species. And as long as look, if they attack you, if they assault you, you know, like like stab you, or, or, or like you know, come after you, like with with. Rage, and that's exactly you know, what he did. Murder in the oh, heart. And, and, then you go. Then you go. Oh, this person wants to kill me. But usually, it'll be something where you somehow you will mitigate it in your own mind because you don't want the embarrassment. And they, they play people like a harp and no one wants to think that they could be, uh, susceptible that, of that, yeah. but everybody can be. And, and that's what they play on. They move from victim to victim to victim the whole time. You know what they have? You know, you know what the, the, the key ingredient of all these people are, are huge, enormous, gigantic Jupiter sized brass balls. Yep. And, and, and that's they will continue doing what they're doing in the face of insurmountable odds. Yep. Anyway, yeah, Tony, thank you for your insight, and yep. I, I Absolutely. appreciate it. And we will talk shortly because Landon is coming Absolutely. on. So I've got Landon, awesome. and I, I've got Landon Not coming right. on in two in right now. Uh, Good so, luck. yeah, <laughs> you know, so uh, flame on. Thank you. So with that, uh, Landon is coming on. Hold on, I think uh, Landon is calling in now. So um, I think that, uh, um, and I say all of this because again, um, this has just been, you know, this has just been disheartening because a lot of people um, have been uh, taking. Landon, how you doing tonight? What's going on, bro? Hey, so tell me. Um, how are you operating operationally tonight? Man, elite vet doc status always on the ready. Contracts ready to fucking roll, man. You know how we do it. Some shit I can't talk about. Hey, you know what? I know. So so tell me, operator, how you been operating lately? Silent, man. You know, silent. Fucking like a killer, bro. Like I'm just stacking bodies, kissing babies back to health. You know, Haitian warlords, pirates, slaying pussy. That's how we roll, pissing on couches fucking people's lives up so so tell me give me a little bit about your background because yet you, you, everybody seems to be uh harping on you right now because uh, they seem to to be uh um they seem to be upset that uh you know you you've gone dark are you on an other operation in benghazi or you know are you uh in haiti are you uh stealing uh drugs out of a cabinet tell me what, what are you, what are you doing bro peasant. They're all fucking peasants, man. They don't fucking know. They don't know. They don't have the certs. I got search for all the fucking jobs, man. I'm qualified for everything. Like I said, I taught Mattis the fucking knife hand. He's a fucking peasant, too. You know, I, I feel bad because I'm not an elite vet. I, n- I never, you know what? I wasn't in that tactical uh, beard owners club. Uh, do you think I could maybe bro, come up that, to that level? You're too fucking hairy, bro. You can't do it. Oh, my God. Really? Really? I'm too hairy? Seriously? Elite vet doc status, motherfucker. You got to get all the search first, homie. You're a pogue. Oh my god. So, so tell me what what what's uh So, tell me what you've been up to. Man, you know, fucking saving babies, homie. Doing what I do. Contracts. You know, going on people's couches, crashing there, bringing them with me, making money. So, packing body. So, let me ask you a question. You got you went over to two veterans houses. And, and let me see if I get this correct. Uh, allegedly, 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 I, allegedly. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, sorry, operator. I, I know you're uh, operating operationally. So you went over to their to their house, and then you drank all their scotch. 
um, which is about you know a couple thousand dollars worth. Uh, tell me about that, bro. Were you were you just uh, about to operate and um, operate operationally, or were you uh, taking over uh, for you know a, a grid uh, LZ? It was cheap shit anyway, man. It wasn't real scotch anyway. It was just cheap shit. They just had it in a fucking expensive bottle. They lied. Man, I tell you, it, 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 nobody puts out the good stuff anymore. Nope. They don't know how to host an elite vet. So tell me, how do you become an elite vet? So how about how about that? How about you? Uh... If you don't know, I can't tell you. Man. There's some things we just can't talk about. you got to become certain status to become the elite vet. If you're not there, you're not there. So, so tell me, uh, you know, you were accused of uh, putting your hands on a woman out in California. Well, what's up with that, bro? I mean, you know, tell me a little bit about that. Well, technically, she put her hands on me first. It's self-defense. Nice. Nice, self-defense. You see me, man. You see me. I'm no big giant man. You know, if I want to bulk up, I add clothes. <laughs> Yeah, and then so you you go to 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 um, DC, and then you uh you tell me about the so you go and take advantage of Raylan Balfour who put you up in DC, um, who lost a, a baby, right? So that's what you did. Took some money from her too. Yeah. Well, I was in that ride. I was in that ambulance. I helped. I did what I said. I stand by my word. I'm a fucking dirtbag, but shit happens. Yeah, I, I I tell you, man, it, it it's uh, you know, being a lead vet isn't uh, it, it isn't what it used to you know be cracked up to be. You're not, you know, I, I think people. How long has it been since somebody thanked you for your service? Thirty seconds. Damn, bro, that 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 they're slacking. They they should be coming to a position. People are of, dreaming about thanking me for my service. They just thank me in their fucking dreams. So you took all that uh, celebrity. Uh, so so riddle me this: you take that celebrity. Uh, you take the celebrity status. You show up at events. You don't know what you're doing. You almost killed a dog. I, I mean, well, what's up with the puppy and shit like that? What what, what did you? Uh, what were you trying to game about with the puppy? I mean, you, you you're not that a dog, dog handler. That dog lost its shit. That dog lost its shit. It's not my fault. That dog lost its shit. On its own, on its fucking own. I mean, I I might have had a fucking couple beef jerky stuffed in my pants somewhere, but he lost his shit on his own. And then, um, so you were a combat medic, right? Yes. Um, explain to me why you went to a clinic and couldn't run an IV. Was that just some top secret shit you you didn't know how to do? No, that was the heroin. Nice. Yeah, nice. Sometimes. I would fumble the spoons. You know, sometimes it goes in, it makes me clean, I piss my pants, and it's just heaven. Nice. So, this is, uh... You gotta stay on top of the game, man. That's the magic serum to kill warlords and pirates. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what? You weren't. You were in Somalia. Where did, I mean, I got a, I got a question for you. Where do you find the time to, to, to go on all these missions um, and, and still have, you know, time to go... Um, write and post and all that. I mean, are you you know what, what are you doing out there? Cocaine, man, keeps you going. Fuels like gasoline. It's just chugga 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 along, shooting some skinnies. Right. So, how did you? Uh, I, I got the question. I got to ask you is: you went down to Haiti, and then you went into the drug cabinet. I mean, are they just? Uh, are they just? Uh, uh, are they not? Uh, what do you call? It? They just didn't locked up. They jumped on. You know the co- the, the 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 drugs just jumped on your back. I What's going to happen when you trust someone like me? Think about it. Who's really to blame here? Me or them for being stupid? I gotta say. Um. Yeah, I gotta say that 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 that's a that's a fact. Um, you know, one of the things that uh, surprises me is uh, how's everybody uh, since uh, you know you, you you came up with the uh, the 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 I don't know whatever you want to call it the wordsmith. And how's everybody treating you these days? Like a god, everybody wants a piece of the steel. Yeah, I mean that doesn't sound like a porn a porn star fluffer that's about getting ready for the third act, does it? Nope. Lead role. 
lead role always lead vet doc status lead role um so you know i i think what i'm gonna uh um i think what i'm gonna do is i'm my gonna have cum, if my cum cures malnourished babies dude that that that's just uh that is just uh that that's that's too that's elite vet vet status right there bro i i can't even I, i'm not even worthy no one is yeah anyway i got uh i got another guest that's going to come on here in a second and defend you do you mind if i call him and then maybe call you back no you do that i want to lock buttholes with this guy oh yes you do so i we will have to call you back in a second there landon just uh hold on a second okay all right boo so one of the reasons we're making fun of him is because this is the shit that he said. This is exactly some of the shit that he said. Went down to Haiti, stole drugs out of a cabinet. Now, I understand that there's some of you people that are out there um, that are, you know, making fun of elite vets. Um, so I, I'm just going to bring out another elite vet. Um, uh, identify yourself there, caller. Hey, how's it going, George? I'm uh, I'm John Burke. How's it going? Oh, just peachy. How you doing? Oh, you know, I'm 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 in the arena. I'm in the zone. You know, uh, I'm dealing with all my elite vet stuff. But you know, I'm having a good night, man. How are you? Uh, you know what? I, I'm just having a, a hell of a time with uh, all this elite vet status and all these people taking money from organizations that uh, didn't rate it. Yeah, man. I know it, it's so weird, isn't it? I, I I don't know who these people think they are, but. I, I, Wait, you're not talking about my elite vets, are you? Oh, I don't even know what an elite vet is. I was just a fucking pogue in the Marine Corps. That is true. That is true. I mean, you know, I know you're not in the arena like I am, but you know, I, you know, do your best, man. You're doing your, you're doing, your, you're doing your best. So I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm short and frail, can't fight, and you know, and so I, I live in a cardboard box in a van down by the river. So that, that, that's the, uh, that's the other thing. And uh, so, hey, hey, riddle me this, um, your elite veteran status, what has it gotten to you? Oh, what has it gotten me? Um, it's got me a couple nights with John Cena. You know John Cena? I know you can't see him, but he's there. Is he really? He's there. Yeah, that's and nice. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about John, all right? John may not want me to talk about it, but, you know, we, we kind of ended on a bad note. He stopped calling me after a while, you know. I was calling every other night, asking for money, asking for for love. You know, you know, I might have sucked his dick a couple times, but you know, we're not going to talk about that one. Right really nice. But, but yeah, I heard you got my boy Landon on tonight. How's he doing? I, I heard him just a little bit. I was uh, too busy in the arena, and then I decided to take a break and come on the show. Oh, he was doing fine. He was sitting there telling about how he was running missions on top of missions and how about operators were operating operationally. That's that's Landon, man. He, you know, he's all about it. You know, he you know, he's you know, me and him are just about as elite as you can get. I mean, I know there's some people that want to claim they're more elite, like, you know, what's his name? Fucking Jim Jim uh what, uh, what the fuck? M Massey Moso uh oh Mattis, yeah, that fucking pro. Oh, yeah, because he didn't operate like you operated it, right? No, God, no. I, I was in the arena. Yeah. Um, so, so tell me, when, um, when, you, when you jump into your, uh, when you jump into your, uh, uh, your BDUs, do you jump in, like, you know, both, both feet at the same time with your swaggling cock out first? Listen, man, my cock is just always hard all the goddamn time, and I don't even have to jump into them, because, like, I don't have to jump into my BDUs, because my BDUs just kind of slide right up there. You know, I don't have to put on my pants, they just kind of come right up. So, like, I, I'm telling you, one of your nut huggers that just holds them over for you, you know, so you can strap them in while you walk in on them? Well, I mean, I gotta get my wife, I know she was born a dude, but, you know, we don't say that out loud, but, you know, yeah, she's a Dallas cop. Now she is, but you know, before she was, uh, she was a trucker named Steve. But you know, now she's a Dallas cop, so she she does a great job at helping me out. But yeah. I'm still a bottom. I, I just want to put that out that I'm still a bottom. Nice, that is that is exceptional. So, is there any uh, final words you have to say on Landon? You know, Landon's a great guy. You know, you know, we had a fun, we had a lot of fun a couple years back. You know, can I just can I describe the evening? 
Try, try um, did it evening for you. Did it include CLP and MREs in, in a in a candlelight uh, in a, in a candlelight? Oh my god! It, it was so sensual. We had you know we made out. We had lavender candles and the whole lot and lavender oil, which mixed with CEP is a godsend. I recommend that to everybody. Uh, he licked my asshole, and then I tongued his balls, and it was just magical. And then we made sweet, sweet love. It was kind of hard to, like, you know, it was kind of hard to fuck each other because, you know, we both have micropenes. So, you know, there's only so much we can do. But, you know, we gave it our best shot. Nice. Well, you know what? I, I, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of, uh, I'm just kind of jealous for all that. That, that's just, uh, that is, you know, truly, I, I'm, uh, I'm kind of jealous. I know, man. If you get off your ass, man, I can, you know, we can get you in the arena. I mean, I know, uh, I know no gay dudes find you attractive, but I kind of think you're sexy. Do you really? I feel, you know what? I, I, I feel so, uh, what do you call it? I feel so, uh, um, I don't know what the right word, so flopped. Well, I, I just, I'm, I'm here to make you feel better, man, because, you know, you know, that's what I'm about. And you know what? People, people want to talk shit on landing. You know, he, he's just a really good guy, you know? You know, you know. There's reason to believe that little girl was lying. We don't know. Yeah, because she's. Uh, yeah, she was. Uh, yeah, she was lying about getting. Uh, uh, be you know, she swung on him first. Yeah, she, she, she's just lying. Everybody knows. Everybody knows about Landon. Landon's a good dude. Yeah, well, it just surprises me that uh, he. What do you call it? That uh, that he, I mean, you know. That that anybody would even have the audacity to even swing on him. You know, I know he weighs you know a buck twenty soaking wet, but I mean he's a tough motherfucker. I mean I I don't know how else to say this, man. He's a tough son of a bitch. Yeah. I mean, granted, you can only knock out women, but you know, toughness is you know it's subjective. Well, I you know I appreciate you coming on and and you know thank you. Maybe in the future when I can get into the elite vet status, I can uh, I can bring myself up to your level. Oh, George, you know it, man. I'll be glad to help you in the arena. You know, it'd be a great thing to have you in there. And Landon, if you're listening, buddy, you give me a call, all right? You know, we got to get together. You know, I'll bring some lavender candles and uh, you can have some good old fashioned times. You know. Uh, my t- my asshole's a little loose. Uh, it's a little looser for you. So you know, whatever, man. Let me know. Give me a call. Yeah, okay. George, you too. Uh, it's uh, uh, always a pleasure, sir. Always a pleasure. Thank you for your service. Oh, you're welcome for my service, sir. You have a good evening, sir. So that's what it sounds like. This is actually what it sounds like when these so-called elite veterans decide to, um you know, go online, you know, they did this and you're not worthy of their, you know, you're not worthy of their, uh, service. Uh, you know, you're just a, a pogue or you're a grunt or, you know, whatever it is. And it's a pattern folks. I, I know that these, you know, the last, you know, it's, it's parody. If you don't understand that, then you need help. But these elite veterans that come out there and, you know, that if, if you weren't in Fallujah, if you weren't in Iraq, if you weren't in Afghanistan, you know, sway, you know, slaying bodies and doing all the shit that it, you don't, you don't rate to be called um, a veteran. Oh, and hold on, we have another caller. Hello. Uh, hello. Who's this? Who the fuck is this? So, are you happy with your elite veteran status there, young man? Uh, do you want to chime in? Are you Are you still on the show? <laughs> Why? Yes, I am. I've been. Ma- have you not been hearing? I've been making fun of everybody, especially oh, the elite. Oh, this this is like cracking. Oh my god, uh, Landon, what's his nuts? Uh, uh, what's his name? Landon Steele. Yeah, that fucking piece of shit. Uh, I'm sorry for cussing, but <laughs> oh no, this is a. <laughs> this has been coming on, and uh, you know, I'm just upset that I'm not an elite vet. You know, I, I mean, it just—I I don't know what to do with myself. I guess I'm going to have to turn in my man card. Uh, hey. s- sit, you know, <laughs> sit down when I uh, when I you know sit down when I pee. Uh, you know, hey, pee. thank you for your service, sir. Thank you oh, for th- your service. <laughs> thank you. I just—I I, don't—I don't know if I, I rate enough. So. <laughs> 
We've been making fun of, and, and I'm gonna tell you, you guys, if you're listening, we're this is comedy. This is we're making fun of people because this is the shit that drives us fucking crazy. When you come out there and like, you know, um, it's like the the dudes that went to that are at Home Depot and got upset that they didn't get a veteran discount because they had to walk eight feet to go to the service counter to get it. You know, uh, oh, that that you know that was another story. So I. I you know, it just, this is the shit that cracks me up. And, and I'm going to tell you this. The shit that it pisses me off is when you use your veteran status to take money from people and you don't fucking deserve it. Stop doing that shit because we will find out. We could have forgave everything else. This is the, the, the thing that I, I want to leave out there because I, I don't want to always just pile on. We could have forgiven. We, we could have understood everything up until two points. You took money from veterans and you put your hands on women. The fuck is wrong with you? Yep. That, and also, uh, everybody, not not even just putting your hands on women, uh, which I know you're talking about Landon Steele, but um, I read all that shit. Uh, but um, the veterans out there who, look, look, I respect if you, if you hold your hand up and do what the fuck you do. I respect that. But don't be a douchebag. And go out there and demand respect uh, for no fucking reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, that's 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 bullshit. I, I, look, man, I don't even fucking... Uh, I've never had a free meal on, uh, what is it, Veterans Day or whatever the fuck it is? Yeah, um, but, I, I, but it's not... Listen, there's a difference. Look, a, a free meal is one thing. But don't, you know, it, it's it, here, here's the problem, is you think that your service is much better than somebody else's service. The baddest motherfucker we've had on this show is Todd Van Langen, period. He he did six or seven tours in Iraq and Afghanistan was SF. That That's an elite veteran. That he, is, he, he, he has to be fucking crazy. Oh, he is, and he's got, I, I don't know, he's got, uh, he was a special forces sniper. But all these elite veterans are coming out there, oh, you know, uh, and, and <clears throat> here's the other part that gets people railed. When you come out and you call yourself a fucking expert on shit just because you served, come on. You, you didn't. You... I'm, about to, I'm about to burn some bridges. I know I am. Uh, oh, wait, while. you know, if you're going to burn bridges, um, what do you use to, to light them with? Gasoline, kerosene, C4? I, I'm, I'm a combat engineer, so I, I use C4. You know, I blow shit up. Um, I'm, I was eight years combat engineer. Um, I have to throw that out there. Fucking essay on, motherfuckers. Uh, anyway, um, you know, Matt Best, he spent three years in the fucking army. Three fucking years. Three. Uh, you don't really get a military education in three fucking years you know what i mean like, yeah but uh, hold on let me say one thing about matt best because they, there's a difference in it matt best was also a cia icon a cia contractor he was a ranger he went to ranger school um, i did not know he was that the first thing he said i knew he was ranger yeah but I, here here's the thing the difference with matt best and, and, and i'm going to say this and and it, matt best has never and, and i i will say this matt best is entertainment. He has never once tried to use. He, he has never taken advantage of people for his status. There's a big difference. I don't care. There are people who are veterans who are are proud to you know are, are proud to be veterans. Matt Best has turned his his role into comedy. I have no issue with him. Oh no that, no no. I and don't have to do with Matt Best, Joshua I, I, Thomas. Has turned his military service into comedy. No problem with him. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, you know, combat vet Hernandez turned his thing into comedy. No problem with those guys because, huh? Uh, uh, Hernandez. What's his uh, for, uh, Aaron. combat vet? He's combat yeah. vet. Yeah, combat vet. And <laughs> but it, Matt Best was you know has turned his. And here's the thing about the differences. Matt Best doesn't attack other veterans. Nope. And that, that's one of the problems with, that I had with Landon is Landon attacked other veterans because yeah. they didn't they didn't count to him. 
Well, you took a fucking dog from somebody that didn't belong to you. You you beat it upside the head with a fucking you know with its leash, and then you blame the dog. Are you because talking? no, th no this is a, yeah this is the shit that that pissed me off about him. You have witnesses who mm -hmm. see you beat a dog upside the head with a leash because you didn't know what to do with the dog. Now, <clears throat> if you're gonna sit there and, and you're gonna do all the shit. Have your shit in order, and that's what that's why I made fun of everybody tonight. Because if you're an elite vet and you're taking advantage of other vets, you're the problem. Because you you put you hurt the rest of the veteran community because they don't. Tr you know, like uh, all these fucking. Um, you know, the loudest the loudest vets are the vets that never did shit in their life. You know. Here, here's the thing. Most people haven't done shit in their life, and and, and I'm gonna tell you, they use the few years that they got in. They they use a few years in its service to. They don't replace it with anything. They don't go out and do anything else. Then yep. they find out that the you know the veteran community, the police community, and it, it the 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 law enforcement community, and all of them are very patriotic as they should be. You yep. know, the police do a difficult job. They, they don't meet people, the, the police don't meet people at their best. They usually meet it when things are going bad. They deserve yeah. the recognition for what they've done. Absolutely. The problem is that people who take advantage of that situation for self-gain is the problem. It's not the people that are sitting there going, okay, listen, there, there's the, the Fallen Warrior Fund. Um, there's, a, there's a fund that helps out the families of, and I, I might have gotten their name wrong, there is a fund out there that is done by the Law Enforcement uh, Association of America. Um, they collect money to help send the children of fallen officers to college. One of the best things ever. A lot of kids every year go to college because of that. Great organization. But there are there are leagues out there that go out and raise money for officers that they give 17 to 22 percent of any of their money to the group and they keep the other one for fundraising it you want to ha if somebody approaches you and tells you they're raising money go to charitynavigator.com and look at it that's the problem that i have with them number two you know there are people out there in the veteran community that actually help other veterans um, yep. Twenty two till none is, is a, a great group. They help them. Other other veteran groups are they are in it for themselves. Wounded warrior, um, uh, one of the moms in wounded warrior, one of the people uh, moms asked the uh, uh, you know some help for the kid. They sent them some t shirts and, and some pamphlets. That's not the shit that you want to do. The reason people are they they feel that helping veterans. Are, is a patriotic thing to do that they are helping them do the right thing by giving them money, by giving them that support, by feeding them, and that is and and we should be we should feel patriotic. But guess what? John Stewart got escorted out of the Capitol building by Capitol the Capitol Hill police because he was trying to get a bill to get first responders medical help. I, I do have to say, okay, uh, uh, Mr. Pardos, I do have to say this. Um, I am a I am living proof of two years ago, two years ago, actually. Yeah. Uh, what, October, November, something like that. Um, I actually got uh, two checks from the VFW. Or... Uh, Let's see, uh, VFW and what's the other one? Uh, American, Legion. American Legion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the American Legion that gave me the checks. Two checks. They gave me one check for two truck payments. With the, the I still have the truck in my driveway right now. And they gave me another check for my rent. Still have a roof over my head. And uh, so I know where you're coming from, man. I think... Uh, I that think, uh, uh, but the the problem and again and again, it's not the people that I, I'm upset about that need the help. Is the people that you know when Landon went you? Landon went to people's houses, drank up all their liquor, and yeah. then and then uh, bla and then you know gaslighted them into saying, "Oh, I, I didn't do that." And then the guy then and, and took their 
freaking money. And took their money. And, and so that is the issue that I have. And, and the reason that I, I called out Landon more than anybody else, and it isn't because um, Drew Hernandez, thank you. And um, the, um, the, the problem that, that we had is that um, the problem that all of us have had with, you know, with this situation is all of us have helped them. All of us have put out, you know, we've helped him, we've sent him money, we, we, we made sure he, he had food to eat, we, we contacted other veterans to put him up, and this is the way he repaid the fucking community, and that's why we made fucking fun of him. You know what's crazy? I've fucking heard that name before. I heard that name before. I saw it on Instagram, uh, this uh, Aaron, Aaron Childress, I think is his name. He yeah, Aaron, a- Chili was, uh, uh, Aaron Childress was on the station. <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, he was. Well, he was. It was Chili off the grid. Chili, Aaron is a good guy, but yeah, here, yeah, he is. He's from where I grew up. I mean, I it, fucking grew up there. That's where I'm from, bro. One of the guys that started this station. Uh, one of the, uh, I'm sorry. One of the guys that was involved in the station, Kyle Nuring, who they used to call preacher, took money from a, a Gold Star family mom. That's why he's seriously. not. Uh, huh? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. And that's, again, why we made fun of these guys tonight. Because if you're going to sit there and be the so-called elite veteran status, you better have your shit together. Because we will find out. And if you put your fucking hands on people, I don't care who the woman is. If you, you're a veteran, and if you put your fucking hands on a female, there is something fundamentally wrong with you. I don't care. I don't care what excuse you have. And don't use that, oh, I have PTSD, I have demons, and, and oh, my God, and I made her punch her in the mouth. Shit. Yep, fuck all that shit. You know, you and you, you don't show up, and, and here's the thing, you don't show up at other people's doorstep and, and take advantage of their charity for your self-gain. That's the issue that we've had, with, with, and that's why we made fun of them. Because if you are going to do that, and especially with you know with what Landon did, was he took advantage of people's charity who did not have the money in the first place to help him? He fucking blew my mind. Look, whenever uh, Aaron uh, uh, Chili put that shit on his Instagram, uh, I was like, I was like, oh, that name is so familiar, man. Like, I'm pretty sure I have him on my friends list. Like, I'm pretty sure I have him. Yeah, Chili off the Chili off the grid. Uh, he used to have a show here called Chili off the grid. And Chili is a good guy. He and, yeah. and, and 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 let me tell you. Here, here's the thing. You're listening to this, and you think that uh, you know one of these so-called veterans is is a you know is a douchebag. Reach out to us. We have uh, you know we have a bunch of shows on the station. We have people. We have resources. We still with, we deal with Scotty Hughes and Stolen Valor, and we have literally the one. We have access to Doug Sterner, who does nothing but investigate stolen valor and uh, metal wards. Yeah, and and, and 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 he's on he's on my speed dial. If we have an issue, um, I call it Doug Sterner, who is at the White House for Medal of Honor, you know, for the Medal of Honor recipient, um, and that is. And he does nothing but research it. Because let me tell you something. You want to feel patriotic. You want to feel that helping a vet is this right thing to do. And it is. It is. You, you should help vets. Um, some of them come back to the world and they, fought, and, and they battle demons. But Like you said earlier, like not monetarily, like um, more of a comfort thing, you know. Um, yeah, but it's the same thing. You put somebody up at your house. You you trust them that they're not gonna they're they're not gonna step back. They're, they're not gonna take money from you. You put somebody yeah. up in you know you you give them accommodations. Um, you know you you don't take you don't drink their roommates' beer and then leave them um, you know broke so they can't pay their bills. That's not what you do. And if you do that, that and, and that's a systematic pattern that he's done that. So I'm gonna go for. Um, it's 9.51. I've got about four or five minutes left in me because I, I think I'm going to go drink. Um, <laughs> um, it, no, because this has been a very, you know, tonight has just been very, you know, kind of upsetting because this last week. the I, I the, feel about staying like an extra 15 minutes over. Um, well, no, because I'm, I'm going to go for about five more minutes. I, I'm, I'm cutting the show down to 10. If you want, you can go broadcast yourself there, boo-boo. And I, you, <laughs> well, I just... 
I, I like talking to you, man. <laughs> and, <laughs> and and so this is and, and here here's the thing that we, you know that all of us try to you know here, here's the thing that it, that the reason a lot of us feel betrayed. We go out of our way to help out fellow vets. We we go out of our way. We we show up when we're doing it. We we go out and and, and here's the thing: the narcissists um, will say, "Oh man, you know it, 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 it's." Um, I, I wasn't trying to do that, man. I, I wasn't trying to do that. I was just trying to get along, or, or you know, they 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 come out and they'll gaslight you. They'll they'll throw the blame onto you. They'll throw the blame onto everybody but themselves because they they don't want to have accountability. That's true. Hey, bro, I still I'm still owed probably about five thousand dollars from vets. Five. You know that's that's a lot of money. That could that could. You know, that's food out of my kids' mouths. That's 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 fucking everything. Uh, and they do that. They're like, oh, you know, I'm homeless, or I, I need this, I need that. And, you know, I gave them money when I had the money to give them uh, two years ago. Two fucking years ago. We gave money. Hold on. We gave money to a guy. We, we gave money to a guy. And I and and I, I don't want to call them out because you know they they try I, I you know yeah. but we gave money to a guy on this station and, it, and he said that he needed a bill he needed a bill paid we sent him money it was almost five hundred dollars two or almost three weeks later he shows up online and posts pictures of him at the range with the Glock and right. yeah and 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 that was you know that was the shit that that he you know that that he's that people have done and this is this is why i even though i can be charity i can be generous to to vet, fellow vets um i don't want i i i'm going to tell you this one of the things this has led to is we're going to vet we're going to be more um we're going to vet um people before we give them money or we're going to give yeah. you or, or we're going to send you over to other organizations that do you know that do a much better job than we are number two is we are going to be, a li- you know, this is uh, not this alone. The, the reason this bothers me, and I don't want to push him over the edge, but this is people that we they called us brothers. This is a, a person that I would have taken in my own house, and and th- and and this is the issue. Um, uh, and you've got it, and the the way I always tell people is I give vets opportunity. Um, a couple years ago, I had one of uh, one of the veterans I had working for me, who was a mortar, Dante. Um, he needed a job, and you know, uh, he was one of the the best workers I've had. Um, one of the guys that works for me now got out of the Navy, needed a job. He does. He helps. Um, you know, helps me run my warehouse, um, no, and it runs. And, and it's one out of ten. It's what? It's one out of ten. Yeah, I mean, and it's not the you know, look, it's not the 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 guys that are bad out there. There are a lot of good veterans out there that are salt of the earth, but it's mm-hmm. the people that take advantage that that steal all the air and yeah. all the thunder out of it, and mm-hmm. and make it, it is. And let me tell you, it, you can't judge the whole Marine Corps on Lee Harvey Oswald. Um, you you know, and you also or, or, or the fucking uh, the army off of the fucking uh, shooting out of the tower uh, UT right here. Uh, that was Charles Whitman, another Marine. You fuck. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, but but you can't you can't judge the army on uh, I don't on, on Major Nadal. You Most can't be- judge the army on my fucking bullshit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> But I, I mean, you give people here. Here's the thing: if you want to help vets, give them opportunities. Give them help. Give them opportunities yeah. to help, and give them the ability to go out and help. Uh, you know, get get them help. Get them a job. Get them. You know, if you want, bring them in. Get them a job. Don't don't give them out free because if if, it, if it's easy, it ain't worth a damn. Woody Hayes hey, said that. George, can I can I say something real quick before you end the show? Yeah. <clears throat> Look. It's it's fucking uh, look, whatever ideas you have in your head, go out in the world and fucking do it. It doesn't matter if like you're working, like uh, work and do it on the side if you need to. I'm doing it. I know George is fucking doing it, Mister Pardos. Um, 
What are you calling yourself on here? Mr. Parnos, the bear news. I, that, that, I'm, not, bear I'm, news. Not doing anything, I'm not doing anything special, Boo Boo. I'm uh... the, the freaking bear. Uh, but do it, man. Like, just do it. It's 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 scary. Uh, and it is hard. You're gonna have to work a lot of fucking hours. Um, but do it. Like, if you have an idea in your head, go out there and fucking do it. Just just do it. You know, you sound like Shia LaBeouf right, right now, right? Just do it! Do it! You know? Yeah, I know I do, but uh, it's but he's right. He's he's right. He's fucking right. He is, and, and you know what? It, it, that I, Again, at the end of the time, you want to help a vet, give him an opportunity. Just to, Don't give him just a handout because people will be unappreciative yeah. of that. And that, and that's that is what uh, anyway. Um, any th- you want to say any final thoughts? Because we're about to. I'm going to go to call it a night because I don't want to go two hours. And um, I think I've covered my point. <laughs> no, I'm good, man. Uh, it's been really great talking with you. All right, man. See you later, bro. Later. So with that, um, we're going to call Ooh. it a night. Um, I hope you guys realize that how much damage this has done and again it goes back to it the the people that are doing this shit um check them out and, and that's what you know the elite vets so to speak um you know check them out because at the end of the day it, it you know money doesn't come easy and once you betray the trust of the veteran community and especially the people that have tried to help you um you betray the trust of everybody else and you soil that image for the people in the future um, and like I said, we we made a lot of fun of a lot of people tonight and they deserve it because at the end of the day, you are responsible for your own actions, but if you represent us, you better do it damn right. Anyway, this is George Pardos. Thank you for listening to the bear news. Thank you for listening to veteran radio syndicate, and we will catch you here next time. Uh, backwards veterans comes on at 11 and thank you for your support. It's time for the bare new.